I have no complaints. Yes? Did you want something? seen you before I have no idea who you are it's not like I've been stalking you or anything <laughs> wait don't leave I I'm injured uh, yes injured you have to take me with you otherwise I might die and you wouldn't want that on your conscience That's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. Haha, -ha, you are so funny. I'm just being honest. And anyone who says otherwise is clearly jealous. Can you name someone better than me? <laughs> I didn't think so. Anyway, thanks, I guess. I don't. I thought I would help you out. Well, I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance? Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. What? Ugh, I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, and stop staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi-naked woman before. Of course I'm alright. Don't start fuzzing over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. Okay then. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventure. Although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? Nice to meet you. I hope to be of some use to you. I'm rather talented if I say so myself, so I'm sure there must be something I can do for you. Just let me know. So you want to be a companion? I guess it's quite a noble role to play Good and follows the there. proud traditions of my ancestors. But let's just hope they don't take this honor thing too seriously. Well, Especially well. since being honorable is not something I'm known in. for. Well, you may have come out empty-handed, but... Yeah, you're empty-handed. That's not exactly good, is it? Oh, yes, so, That's all impressive. we have to do is fetch a few pieces for some blade. How hard can that be? 
I this is usually the, the moment that we discover that we have to go to some forbidden place full of perilous danger. Oh well, I suppose that makes it more interesting. So you have the Wabajack, huh? <laughs> Sounds interesting. I wonder what crazy stuff this staff can do. I bet it doesn't make people naked, though. Do you have something to say? If you say so. If you say so. Okay then. Yes, did you want something? If you say so. How about for a change you do something to, I mean, for me? I'm glad that's sorted. Been in Riften for quite some time. I'm still looking for someone to deliver my message to Sibby Blackbriar. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for Excellent. Head to the Riften jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. It would take a threat to all of Skyrim for me to depart. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'll meet you outside of town. What are you doing down here? Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Are you sure you don't want me to release you, Mr. Dragonfly? Uh. No? How are you ever going to meet Mrs. Dragonfly stuck in there?
come to kill me at last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. I heard tales of a remarkable adventurer, both brave and resourceful, matching your description. I knew it was you. It had to be. I knew you would be coming for me, so I waited. Are you going to kill me or not? I see that I must relive it again. Your memory is not what it was. We met on a job. The killing kind. We were hired by a lord called Dupin to kill his brothers. With them gone, Dupin would inherit a great fortune and promised us much gold in return. Do you remember none of this? Before we left, Dupin told me that if only one of us returned from our mission, that one would get the other's reward also. I was hooked on skooma at the time, and I had a bit of a debt problem, so... I tried. That is what matters. It was not an easy choice. We only knew each other for a short time, but I had grown to like and respect you. We got on well and fought bravely side by side. I threw all that away for gold and skooma. No, Dupin was murdered by his sister before I made it back to his keep. Our deal died with him. Money is an evil like no other, my friend. It is only just that I die at your hand. No, I am done with this stuff. I want to die with my senses intact. Kill me now. I am ready. You are the person I remember. I would recognize your smell anywhere. My life is yours to take. Do it. I fight with you. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this opportunity. You will not regret this. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. You want to ask me something? What is yours is mine. If you need anything else, just ask. 
What is on your mind? Pooling our resources. Let us go.